We're ready to take on New York. Okay. Isaac and I are about to go to the Broadway show. Oh, you want to blow out or you want me to be here? <laughs> Come to us. <laughs> you can grab one of those, babe. back to the hotel, dumped our stuff down, and we're all starving, so I was like, maybe order food to the room, but I'm also like, we're in New York. Put my little earmuffs on, and we're going to walk to dinner. Booze and cream. <laughs> and I got peppermint. I feel like... Just change into my pajamas. These are my new ones from Grey Bandit and they're so cute and cozy. They're like, they have all these Christmas pajamas and I love them. So I change into our jammies and now it's time to go to bed. We're gonna watch Suits first, obviously. Okay, we've changed into our outfits for the day. We're ready to take on New York. We're going, sure. it's raining outside, so we're gonna go a shopping day. We just finished watching the Chiefs game. They lost. So sad, but time for bed. The blue skies are out today. <gasps> oh my goodness, I love this question. Um, I think. Okay, us in our key bags. <laughs> we were kind of matching. Yeah, we look cute. I can't believe you thought you were tall. No, literally, what the hell? <laughs> Like, I thought it was like a good height. You are a good height. Like, sometimes I meet girls and I'm like, eat under my boob. That's what I feel next to you. I also feel like I'm just a very tall girl. You are very tall. Oh, you want a blowout or you want wavy hair? <laughs> Come to us. Come <laughs> to Well, you guys, I did a pretty bad job at vlogging today because let me tell you why. One, I hung out with a friend. I hung out with Bridget. We we're like hanging out for the first time today and I'm like, I just. I don't always like being on my phone the entire time. But it was really fun, honestly, hanging out with her was like so fun. It's always like intimidating like meeting people online that you've never met before, but she was like the sweetest girl ever. We had breakfast at this really good place called Bubba's, I think, or Bubby's. It's like an insane breakfast place. They have like these gigantic pancakes and it was amazing. And then after that, we kind of just like walked around. She showed me where Taylor Swift's apartment was. It was like, you're kind of like a Swiftie, right? And I was like, um, I more than that. I love Taylor Swift. And so she's like, oh yeah, that's her apartment. I'm like, so I officially walked by Taylor Swift's New York City apartment. It was magical. Um, we went to her apartment for a little bit, hung out, filmed a little TikTok or two. And then I left and came home. Isaac and I just kind of like walked around um, or like he had some meetings and we talked about that. And then we walked around a little bit and we went to like Nike and like a watch store that Isaac wanted to go to. Um, but then we really just kind of had to like go to Sunset and I was like, okay, perfect. I want to go to the Brooklyn Bridge. I've taken photos here before. It's like really cute. So let's go back there. So we're on our way and the Uber is just like taking forever. And I noticed that we were like close and I was like, okay, you know what? Like, let's just like get out of the Uber and walk. Get out of the Uber, start walking. It, I like could not find the entrance to like save my life. The sun is going down. I can't find the entrance. I'm stressed. I'm like Isaac, like what? Like literally just can't find it. 
we eventually make it onto the bridge where we like start walking and I'm like, this just doesn't look like last time. It's because I was on the wrong bridge. So I felt pretty defeated, but we ended up walking out there anyways, which it was like pretty, but it wasn't like what I wanted. We just ended up going out to dinner at this place called Mamo's, I think. Bridget recommended it and it's like really good authentic Italian and it was honestly so good. Like, I feel like I've been listening to the recommendations of people and everything that I've been getting, I'm like, dang, the food in New York is actually so good. We went there and then we're like, we just need a chill night. So I took a bath and now I'm in my jammies and now we're gonna watch Suits. Love ya, good night. I've seen these TikToks where there's like this guy in Central Park who has this like vintage Polaroid something camera and you can get a photo for $10. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, we just came back to the house and the house. I always call everything the house, the hotel, and we're about to go ice skating in front of the Rockefeller Christmas tree. This is something that Isaac booked a long time ago and I have been waiting to do this for a long time. And then we're going to the Broadway show tonight. <laughs> show and I have this like turtleneck on and I have my jeans and I have like some pointed boots on they're really cute but I've been loving a little red lip this trip so I'm gonna put on this red lip pencil by Makeup Forever and I just feel like that's the vibes for the Broadway show. Red lip for the Broadway show is secured. I'm leaving my hair tucked in here because I'm like oh kind of fun. I have red lip, I have short hair. It's a new me. I want to show you my outfit. You guys get the vision, okay? Okay, the show is about to start. I got the little play bill, obviously my M&Ms, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Just got done with the Broadway show and it was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty phenomenal. We're obsessed. We just want to go listen to Michael Jackson's song so. Yeah. The Broadway show was amazing. I'm exhausted and my event is tomorrow so it's time for me to go to bed. Today is event day and I'm really excited but I also really can't stop thinking about the New York bagels so I need to go get one immediately this morning again. Oh, 
Okay, it is officially time to do my hair for the event. This is a big deal. And I'm gonna wear my hair natural like the waves because I'm honoring them because they are what got me to this point. My wavy hair routine got me to working with John Frieda and they got me to this exact event. So we have to honor them and wear the natural curls tonight. Let's do my wavy hair routine. Except this is a very special event. Tell me why the most important day I need my hair to look pretty, I forget a curl cream. I guess we're going without it, but that's okay because I have my trustees with me. So the reason I'm in New York is because John Frieda flew me out for their event. And that event is tonight. Okay, the products are in, and now it's time to diffuse my hair. Okay, my hair is diffused, so basically now it's just time to let it sit in its crunch, and I'm gonna maybe get lunch and do my makeup. Okay, the hair is done, my dress is on, and I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervy, but it'll be so much fun. So I'll probably take a little like sneak peeks when I'm there, but I also want to try and be as present as possible at the event. So yeah, love you guys. basically have like a studio shoot with John Frieda and we're gonna like record some TikToks and stuff. Oh, I thought someone was coming in. It's so early and I'm so tired. And basically I'm going to film and then I'll come back and pack and then we leave for the airport. So I feel like I wash my hair like every two days. So, this oh, wow. is just like where we're at right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a little bit of everyone's favorite. I've actually never got my hair professionally done before. So this is technically my first time. Wow. I know. Well, like obviously not dyed, but like done. By yeah, like, like styled. Yeah. Like wow. any like high school, like prom or any event, I just would do it myself, so. Thank you. 